In the last few weeks, we showed you the very basics of how to link fields in WinTotal's integrated worksheet view, something that appraisers can get only with Alla Mode. Today we'll use linked fields again, but we'll expand on the formula aspect of the worksheet and use a mathematical algebraic equation. For this example, let's say that I want my final value to be represented 80% by the value of the sales comparison approach and 20% by the cost approach. I'll start by linking down my two fields. First, I'll label the cells above where I'm going to put the data. This isn't necessary, but it's helpful, especially in more complicated worksheets, to remind myself what I've done. I'll link down the sales comp approach first, and the cost approach second. In a third cell, I'll build my algebraic formula. It's 80% of the sales comparable approach plus 20% of the cost approach. Worksheets use the standard mathematical order of operations, so separating the components with parentheses isn't necessary. It's just helpful. I'll put in the first term. 80% of the cost approach is 0.8 times A2, which is the linked field from the form. Now I'll add to that my second term, which is 20% of B2. Again, the parentheses aren't mathematically necessary for this particular equation, but they're a good habit to develop so that I'll remember to use them when they are necessary. Now all that's lacking is to link the cell with the equation back into the form. Notice how the spreadsheet and the final value are now dynamic. For instance, if I update the grid and change the sales comparison value, both the worksheet and the final value change accordingly. Don't forget to save your worksheet for later use. And again, take some time over the next few weeks to try out this function with your own workflow and examples. See you next week.